having a wonderful last couple of days of Ramadan and I hope that you're also starting to prepare for Eid because it's under a week away. Can you believe it? Like I can't believe how fast time flies. I am here in my room ironing and steaming our Eid outfits and I'll tell you why in just a second. Well, obviously because Eid is just around the corner. But typically, that's one of the last tasks I would do in preparation for Eid because we don't need our Eid clothes until the morning of Eid. But this year, we are doing a photo session as a family of four. And I decided to do the photo session the weekend before Eid because I did not want to deal with the hassleness. Like, I know I want to do like full makeup for the photo session. And it's probably gonna be hot and Zayden is gonna like be crying and Myra is gonna be fussy and for one reason or another something could go wrong and to do all that on the day of Eid when we're trying to make it to the prayer if there's gonna be one or we're trying to go visit family I just feel like that's too much for one day so I decided to schedule the photo session the weekend before Eid so that's what we're doing that's why I'm preparing the outfits now and my plan is to wear the outfits just for the photo session and then change right away so hopefully i won't even have to like wash them or steam them or iron them again and that way we can wear it again on eid and we can still take pictures with people we're gonna see but i want to have those professional pictures in the books prior to eid so i'm just steaming this is my dress you guys look at this it's so beautiful there is an under layer that i already steamed and i already finished asmara's outfit so I'll show you all the outfits in just a second. Next, I'm gonna do Myra's outfit. How cute is her outfit? I love it, it's new. So my father-in-law was just in Pakistan a couple of months ago and he got really cute outfits for the kids. And that's like another reason why I really wanted to do a photo session. But really the main reason was I got the photo session done when I was pregnant. It was like a month before Zayden was born or something. And they came out so beautiful. If you guys haven't seen the pictures, go check out my Instagram or Facebook. And when I was scheduling that photo session, I was really confused as to like which location to use. I really wanted to do a garden, but I also really wanted to do a beach. And at the time I decided, you know, I have plenty of park maternity pictures. Like we go to picnics because of COVID and all that. And I would take pictures with my belly. So for the maternity photo sessions, I decided to do a beach theme so I went at the beach and took the pictures right and then I thought when the baby is born when he's about six months old it's going to be April so the spring and at that time we can do a garden photo session as a family of four and I love the idea then like it helped me make peace with the decision of doing a beach photo session and so spring came and it's almost summer is it summer officially I don't know but it's really hot it should be summer and ramadan came and i thought oh my god it's eid the kids have new clothes and a photo session with zayden are all the perfect reason to do a photo session here is a quick look at our outfits asmar is wearing like a white chalwar kameez just something simple and i am wearing this dress i showed you just a second ago and i'm not gonna be trying it on just because i don't have time today but go ahead and keep an eye on my Instagram. I'm gonna post pictures as soon as I can. This is Myra's dress, super, super adorable and so springy. And I love that it came with a dubatta too. Hopefully she'll take some fun pictures with that. And my absolute favorite, of course, is Zayden's outfit. It's so cute, I love the pants. And look you guys, this is my favorite part. It has a side pocket, just like the adult ones do as if he's gonna use it it is so cute i love it so i do wish our colors were a bit more coordinated but this is what i had to work with because my father-in-law got zayden's outfit and myra's outfit he didn't know like what colors i would want or anything and just to keep things matching to some extent i picked asmar's outfit to be white so it goes with zayden a little bit and i picked like one of the lightest colored outfit i have so that Asmar and I are in light colors and the kids are a bit darker. So hopefully that will look good. I also love that my dress has this green color, which is just a bit darker than Myra's dress color. So I think like if me and Myra were taking pictures together, this would look really good. But we'll see. We'll find out. Our photographer is so great. I have no doubt she's going to take the best pictures ever. 
You guys, speaking of our photographer, she's so great. And I already got like a few phone calls in the last week or so from friends. They're like, you always take so many nice pictures. Who's your photographer? So I keep passing her number on. So I am going to link her information in the description box below. So if you are in the Bay Area and you want to book her for a photo session, she's so great. Now I'm in my living room. What I'm planning to do is to clear this buffet completely and utilize it to set up things I might want to reach for on Eid such as like teacups and a cookie tray and maybe some paper plates and napkins basically anything that i might want to use i want it to be accessible so i'm not looking for items last minute and my stuff is looking good all the time it makes complete sense to put this away because it spills out ramadan and ramadan is coming to an end but i think that's going to be the only ramadan related decor that i will be putting away now, typically I put away my entire Ramadan decor and I do something completely different for Eid. But this year I've decided to keep all the Eid fun in the backyard because the weather is just so gorgeous and I feel like whether just one family comes over to see us or we have a bunch of people over on the weekend, I feel like the backyard is going to be a perfect place. So I thought, let me just cut to the chase and do all my decor and set up outside and we can just enjoy a nice summery couple of days. And because the rest of my Ramadan decor, I hope you watched the video, I put it up in the beginning of Ramadan, of a tour of my house decor. The rest of it is really just like, it can go for either Ramadan or Eid. So since I'm not using my house for Eid decor, and since the decor still goes for Eid, I thought, why not? Let me just keep everything else up and I'm just gonna take down this Ramadan letters. Every year I have to remember to take out these batteries, otherwise they might spoil the litter for me. And every year, somehow, my husband ends up going through all these batteries. And then when Ramadan comes around the next year, I end up with zero batteries at all. And I'm having to order and expedite my Amazon order so I can get batteries in time. So, I don't know. I wish I had something to say as doing it differently this year. But I'm pretty sure that's going to happen again next year. This is my favorite tray to use for kah, so I'm going to leave it out. And these are the actual kahs. I have them in an airtight container because it helps them taste better for longer. And I think I'm still going to make another batch tomorrow or something because I think we're going to go through that fairly quickly. So I like to have my kah, the tray that I would use it to serve my kah. Next, I have this tray. I love this tray so much. It's nothing fancy, but it carries so many things while keeping a clean look. So I'll try to link it for you guys. But on this tray, I'm going to add my teacups. Maybe just like a couple of teacups. And I can always add more. So at the very least, Asmar and I will have tea. So then this will be ready for us. And then next to this, I like to add this tray. This is a smaller tray that I got from like the dollar store a long time ago. But it has all the different types of teas that we have in the house for anyone to enjoy. So I'm going to add this here. And the other thing I like to add here are these like really cute bowls. I don't know what if they have like a proper name to them, but they're just like bowls with these little stems on the bottom. I like to add this and throw in some like chocolate or mixed nuts or something to munch on when it's tea time or when we're finally eating again during the day. And now my tray is ready. The only thing missing is a pot of hot water and some sugar. I did not bring the sugar here because we do use it on a daily basis in the kitchen and I'm not trying to make things more difficult for me. But it's gonna be the one thing I grab with the hot water when it's time to have tea, when we have guests over, or if it's just me and Asmar enjoying the backyard, we can just carry this out and it's just perfect. And just to make this a little bit eat like, I have this cute frame and I wrote let's eat on it. And I'm just gonna put that right here to give my table like a nice look. And that's it. Now I cleared my Ramadan decor and I set this up for eat as much as I can so that it's easy access for us when it's time to have food during the day. Okay, so now my favorite part, which is the decor. Of course, like I'm an event designer by profession, so decor always sparks a special thing in my heart. So for Eid decor, I told you already that I plan to do it outside, but I'm not gonna get started on it yet because it will definitely go bad by Eid if I do it in the backyard right now. So what I did is I removed my table decor from here and I'm using my dining table as a staging spot until I'm ready to take my decor pieces outside. But 
I still want to go over my decor pieces with you. So in case you wanted to achieve the same look of decor as me, you can go ahead and order these things so that you have them in time. And I promise you, a day or two before Eid, I will upload the tutorial on how to do the decor. That way you can put it together as well. You will have all your supplies by then. Now, I know some people who are not very crafty might be nervous about this. Oh my God, you're telling me to go buy all these things and you promise to show me like, what if I can't do it? I promise you, this is gonna be so easy. Like it takes less than 10 minutes to put this together. So I have faith in you and the fact that you can put this together just as well as I can. The main star of my Eid decor is a balloon garland. And this is what it's supposed to look like once it's done. So I went ahead and ordered this kit from Amazon and I love those kits because they're just perfect, very easy to use. So I got this kit and my goal is to make a balloon garland that looks like that with the word Eid or Eid Mubarak or Happy Eid, something in the middle, and then a dessert table in front of it. So this is my balloon kit that I got. And I did choose these colors specifically because it is summer and I wanted the theme of my Eid party or my Eid decor to be like a tropical summer party in the backyard in the sun so that's kind of like what i was going for so these colored balloons are perfect for it in addition to that i did order some like salad cups or like snack cups i don't know what i'm gonna put in these cups yet but they were so cute and they went really well with everything else that i got so i bought them but i feel like worst case i can make some popcorn and fill these up with popcorn they would be so cute on my dessert table and I got some cute napkins that are like theme related. So I really like that. I got these plates. You guys, I got these plates that said Tutti Frutti. I'm not exactly going with Tutti Frutti theme because I know Tutti Frutti is associated with a second birthday, but that's what the plates said. And I'm like, it's fine, I'll still use them. They're so cute. But I did find other ones that look even better and they don't have the word Tutti Frutti on them and they are on Amazon. So please check all the links in the description box below if you wanna grab some for yourself. Now, this is something I did not buy recent, but they, I got it from Amazon a while back and they still have it. And I highly, highly, highly suggest you get this if you wanna do the balloon garland that I'm going to do. Now, in the beginning of this portion of the video, I told you that if you wanted to achieve this look, go ahead and order your supplies. And I promise to release a video a day or two before E to show you how to do it. Now, I said that it only takes 10 to 15 minutes to do, but that's only because of the balloon pump. If you don't have the balloon pump, it will still be just as easy, but it's not going to be as fast. With the balloon pump, I can make this entire garland in like 10 minutes. Literally, that's how quick it is and that's how effective this pump is. So go ahead and buy one if you wanna do anything balloon related and it lasts forever. Mine looks so worn out. Like I'm actually like staring at the box over there because the box, it still has all the vibrant pink color that came with it. But I actually used this last summer so much in the backyard. The sun literally took away the pink color, but it's still working really well. In addition to that, I got some photo props. I love this. Look at this. <laughs> Hi. So I got these. I thought it would be so fun since I'm decorating a portion of the backyard. I thought it would be nice if we took some fun pictures. And we are going to have some friends over the weekend after Eid. So I just want them to have fun and enjoy Eid at our house. And then I got this cute banner. This banner, let me see if I can open it up to show you. It's basically, oh, it's the other way. It's basically a bunch of fruit cutouts um, threaded in this string. And I know that my plan is to have my balloon garland and the word Eid or Eid Mubarak in the middle. But I was thinking like on the table where my dessert is, I wanna hang this banner. So it kind of ties the colors of the balloon to my table. And I'm so sorry if this is hard to explain right now. In just a few days, I'm gonna release a video of me actually doing the decor and assembling it outside. So please subscribe to my channel if you wanna do that. I of course got the balloons that say Eid or Eid Mubarak, and I got so many, you guys, because I couldn't make up my mind as to what color would go good with these balloons. So I have gold. I think this gold says Happy Eid, and then this gold says, um, Eid Mubarak and I'm literally staring another silver one that Myra already opened let me show you so this is another set that says Eid Mubarak 
uh, that Myra already opened and laid out on the floor. So I, I'm leaning towards silver, but I don't know if I'll use silver or gold. It all depends on the garland. Once I have that done, I will make a decision as to what color I want to use. I also ordered like pink and blue because I thought maybe I don't want silver and I don't want gold, you know, you never know. <laughs> so I ordered pink and blue, but they're not here yet. They should be coming in the mail in the next couple of days or so. And then I also got these really, really cute balloons that come with props that you can dress them up like pineapple. And I got this for Myra to make, and it's only a kit of four, but I thought she can assemble them to participate with me on the decor and we can put them like in a cup or something. And that's it decor wise. I'm confident that once I put this together, I'm going to have a beautiful Eid decor in the backyard. The only other thing that I had, and I thought it would go so perfect with my theme here, is I have those trays. They are plastic food trays. I got these from the dollar store like years ago. I remember using these for one of my birthdays, like when Myra was little. And I thought these would be so perfect on my buffet table. So we're going to have like a barbecue in the backyard. And I was thinking this can be where we can serve the food. Like I can put the rice in this big tray and I can put like the kebabs in these small ones. And then this is my favorite. This is like a dip tray. So I can make like hummus or something and put it here. And I Last but certainly not least, and the biggest and hardest job in preparation for Eid is to clean this backyard. You guys, my backyard is so messy. Look at this. Ugh. It's so messy and I want to like wash the floor and everything. So I'm going to say bye for now so I can get this work done. There is no need for you to watch me clean this backyard. But I'm going to clean it up as much as I can. And I will start recording again tomorrow or the day after so that I can show you how I'm going to get this backyard ready and how I'm going to make the balloon garland for Eid. So please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. I promise you, you're going to love the next video and all the other videos I have planned. I'll say bye for now and I'll see you in a few days. Bye!